Welcome back, everyone. We're used to experiencing tornadoes, damaging wind, and flash flooding in this area. But the summertime, we have to face another threat, hurricanes. In this week's WeatherWise, meteorologist Trevor Burchett explains what we can expect out of this year's hurricane season. All eyes will be on the tropics for the next few months as hurricane season officially starts this week. While we've already had our first tropical storm of the season, we have several months to go before we hit our peak in September. In fact, the official NOAA forecast says we should prepare for an above average hurricane season. 13 to 19 named storms will be possible, with 10 of those being hurricanes. Three to six storms could be major hurricanes, category three or higher. Part of the reason for the above average forecast is that sea surface temperatures are already well above average. Hurricanes feed off warm waters and 75 degrees is usually plenty. However, most of the Gulf of Mexico is already over 80 degrees. Now you think that maybe since we're so far inland, hurricanes and tropical storms don't affect us too much. And while that's true most of the time, depending on where a storm makes landfall, we can still see some impacts. The easterly side of a hurricane usually features extremely heavy rainfall, damaging wind and tornadoes. And we can experience all of those right here in Northeast Mississippi and West Alabama. Of course, there's no way to predict exactly which areas will be hit by a hurricane until a few days out. So it's a good idea to always be prepared. Of course, we'll be keeping an eye on the tropics all summer long and we'll keep you updated right here. Remember, if you want to know something about the weather, let us know and you may see your question right here next week. For now, I'm meteorologist Trevor Burchett. WeatherWise is brought to you by Four County Electric Power Association.